Today, Monday, September 26, is the beginning of National Reconciliation Week leading up to National Day of Truth and Reconciliation on Friday, September 30th, also known as Orange Short Day. Hi, I'm Kristen Scarf, the Inclusion Manager at PLAS Child Care Services, and my pronouns are she, her. I'm happy to be able to share this message about the efforts that PLASP is making to work towards truth and reconciliation. I would like to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we gather and on which the Region of Peel and City of Toronto operates is part of the treaty lands and territories of the Mississaugas of the Credit. For thousands of years, Indigenous people inhabited and cared for this land and continue to do so today. In particular, we acknowledge the territories of the Anishinaabek, Huron-Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and Ojibwa and Chippewa peoples. The land is home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people. And most recently, the territories of the Mississauga of the Credit First Nations, who are direct descendants of the Mississaugas of the Credit. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. PLASPA as an organization is committed to focusing on initiatives that align with our core values of diversity, equity, and inclusion. We will be sharing more throughout the year about how we are fulfilling our commitment to DEI. You may be wondering how you can participate and show your support during Reconciliation Week and on the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. On September 30th, PLASP staff are encouraged to wear orange shirts and are also encouraged to spread the word to children and families about the significance on wearing orange. We at PLAS wear orange to show our solidarity with those who suffer the horrific impacts of the residential schools in Canada. Additionally, learning resources are being shared with PLAS staff to encourage learning and discussions within programs and centres with the hopes that these discussions will also continue at home. I believe that Orange Shirt Day is so important because it marks the beginning of the conversation about truth and reconciliation. I reflect on my experience of learning about Indigenous people at school. We spoke about residential schools like they were a part of our history and ignored the impacts they have on Indigenous peoples and their communities today. This is why truth comes with reconciliation. Communities are finally able to speak their truth and share their stories that have not been heard for generations. This week, I hope that we all can reflect on how each of us has a part to play in truth and reconciliation and on how we can make meaningful contribution towards it. Perhaps we could even take some time to read the 94 Calls to Action. It's so important that we use this week to reflect on the truth of Canada's history. So I urge us to reflect on how we can personally and collectively be active participants in the vital work of reconciliation. Thank you.